Helena's Myrna Loy is the recipient of a $10,000 grant from the Foundation for Montana History. This money is part of a larger set of grants from the Foundation. This is the Foundation's largest ever grant cycle with 27 different grants totaling over $240,000 headed to 19 counties throughout the state. Other projects include work to repair eight pillar domes at the Yucca Theater. The Big Fork Art and Cultural Center will use their $10,000 to create a permanent exhibit showcasing underwater discovery during archaeological surveys. And here in Helena, the Myrna Loy will use their grant money to restore and protect windows and exterior oak on the original jail doors. Zach Coe, the community outreach manager for the Foundation for Montana History, says that preserving history throughout our state helps us better understand where we have been. As we continue to go further into the future, these stories just get further and further away from us. So it's just so important to, to have them available, whether it's in the form of a structure or whether it's a, an interpretive panel, a collection, or even a program that celebrates, shares, and educates on our collective history as a state, as our community histories, and uh, as the story of us as uh, people of the United States. Helena Public Schools launched their new 6th grade career exploration experience. All Helena School 6th graders will get a chance to experience different future career paths. MTN's Rachel Fortunato has the story. On Tuesday, 6th graders from Helena Public Schools got a crash course into future jobs. I stopped by two of those sites, Dick Anderson Construction and St. Peter's Health. This is all part of HPS's new 6th grade career exploration experience. For the first time, HPS has partnered with multiple different businesses and community partners to allow their 600 sixth grade students to experience up to nine different future job paths. We had heard that students really only know what their careers their parents do and they don't know what all is out there. On April 3rd, students from Helena Middle School kicked off the program. Today was C.R. Anderson's turn. Students are divided into groups of about 22 students and each group will visit a total of three locations. There is a total of five locations and three different experiences at each location. So very important. I think this is their first snapshot into the world and they, of what a career might be for them. And it gives them exposure to the massive amounts of opportunity they have. At St. Peter's, students learned CPR, talked about emergency preparedness in a hospital, talked through different tools nurses use, and used VR headsets to surgically fix a knee. At Dick Anderson Construction, students helped guide a crane into a trash can with proper construction site hand signals, use a saw to cut and fit trim into a box, and learned about the construction of power lines from Northwestern Energy. I kind of been thinking about the like, construction site, like the power line one, like not having to college, but getting paid like, to learn and like just having fun in the job is probably one that I like. Today made me think that there's not just like the big jobs like doctor, lawyer, you know, and there's many jobs that come with it. Helena Public Schools plans to continue this program with future students and allow the current ones to keep experiencing future careers every year through the completion of high school. In Helena, Rachel Fortunato, MTN News.